In this lesson, we'll begin modeling the wall foundations around the perimeter of our structure. All right, so let's get the foundation in place for the wall that's going to be supported basically around the exterior wall of our structure. So how this works is I'm going to come down. First thing I want to do is you could notice all this line work. It's starting to get a little bit busy. Now, the good thing is we've been organized up to this point. So what that means is I can come up here to my layers and I can turn off any layers I don't want or any layers that I feel are going to get in the way of my modeling process. So really all I want to keep in place here is my isolated footings, my wall foundations, and my grids. Anything else I can turn off. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and select turn off our second floor beam grid. See it turns off nicely. We'll turn off the visibility for the third floor again simply by deselecting that check mark. I want to do the same thing for my roof support. And that's about it. So you'll notice one other thing. We have this element here. And that's because we didn't make it unique. So what we can do here is assign this to a new layer. So I'm just going to come back up here and I'm going to assign that to layer 0. Come back to our layers and now we'll turn that one off. But what we want to keep on are these three. Keep on your wall foundation so we could build those in around the perimeter. Keep in your isolated footings and then keep in your grid. Once you have that done, we're in business and we're ready to start modeling. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to select my correct layer here. We're going to say wall foundation. And really we could, you know, however you want to do this. So let's start off on this side. So I'm going to basically create from the center point here. What we need to do is make a decision on how this is going to be placed and where the wall is. So for now, we're going to place everything centrally. And as we begin tweaking our model, we'll do a little adjustments to the uh, push push pulling the faces depending on you know what kind of material we're going to use for the exterior again this is strictly fixing up focusing on structure so we won't get too into detail and problem solving when it comes to that i'm more focusing on getting our structure in place but i still want to be able to be flexible to adjust for whatever changes might come a little bit later so with that in mind let's start modeling here so i'm just going to kind of off to the side here model in my first element here we could draw it in on this face if you wanted to, but I'm just going to draw it off to the side. And I know the dimensions for my isolated footings are 3 by 3 by 3. So we'll, this one we'll do a little bit different. We'll do 2 by 2 by 2. So we'll say 2 foot, comma, 2 foot. And I'm going to push pull that 2 feet as well. So go up. We'll say 2 feet. And now I'm going to go ahead and select this entire thing here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and type in G for grouping. And I'm going to say wall foundations. So now we know we have a wall foundations group, right? But I also want to make sure it's on the right level. And it looks like it is. So we're in business. So now I can use my move tool. I'll grab this wherever I need to grab it. And I'm going to place it right here on the midpoint of this element. And occasionally you got to wrestle a little bit with the placing, but you want to snap it to that midpoint right there. Perfect. Now these don't need to be as deep as our footings. It's not holding as much load, so we really don't need to go overkill on the sizing. But now we have our first element in place. So now I can double click on it. I want to push pull this face to where it stops right at that edge. So we'll go push pull, grab that face and just select that edge. It'll automatically stop on that same plane. And now we have our first piece in place. You see that? And when I click on it, it's on the right level. I can click on this one, isolated footing. Click on this one, wall foundation. So now we're basically in business. So again, this is just strictly going to be for the perimeters. Now it's really a matter of copy-paste. Kind of the similar approach we've been taking. So go ahead and do Control-C, Move. I'm going to select an easy point to grab in place. So you notice that problem we have trying to locate that midpoint. How about we click for on the corner of this foundation because that corner is a lot easier to grab. So click it, control V for paste, and now should be able to paste it. And the reason why we picked on that corner is just easier to grab it and place it on this extruded corner than it is to try to locate that midpoint. And I'm just going to keep this process going. So again, click where you want to move, control V, drag it on out. Click where you want to grab, control V, and paste it. See that? Now that I have that done, 
similar to what we did with the footings, I'm going to go ahead and grab each one holding down my control button here. Type in G and I'm going to say all wall foundation. Again, if we had these chopped up in little sections and we named each one piece, we could do that. But in our case, we're keeping it simple for right now. And we're just making sure we put them all on one level and all as one group. So I can now double click on it. I can highlight everything. And now because we have this in a group and we've double clicked on it, I can highlight that entire thing. And it's only going to highlight what's in my group. So like we've been doing, I'm going to pick an easy point to click. So I'm going to say control C move. I'm going to grab this corner. Now I'm going to say control V. Grab control V. See that? And actually, we don't even need to go inward here because we're simply doing the exterior. So really what we need to do is just go ahead and click one of these. And I'm going to say control C. We'll copy it. We'll rotate it. Let's say control V here. Go with your rotate button, and I'm just going to grab it anywhere and rotate it. But I need to ro make sure I'm rotating it 90 degrees here. We'll say 90. Now I can go with my move. And I'm going to grab this one from the center, and we'll place it on the center of this one. Snap it in place just like that. So now we can go ahead and continue our copy. So select, double click back in here. Now I'm going to say control C, hit my move, and I'm going to grab a corner here that's easy to grab. Now I'm going to say control V for paste, and we'll continue it on on this side. And what we'll do is we'll finish off this side. Just about done here. Grab control V for paste. Grab control V for paste. So you see that way we're doing is where we're grabbing and then controlling V. It just makes it so much easier to place it. Uh, sometimes it's a blessing to have those midpoints and all that stuff snapping, but sometimes it can be a pain trying to locate it. So doing it, I find doing it this way to be a lot easier. So that takes care of that side. So now really all we need to do here, I'm going to hold down Control, and I want to copy this side and bring it on over to the other side. So Control c Move. This time, I'm going to pick this corner, Control v and I'm just going to bring it all the way over to this side. Again, you've got to remember we're sticking with the perimeter here. We only want this foundation for the perimeter. So let's finish this off. Let's get this uh, side here. We'll copy it, holding down Control to select multiple, Control c selecting the place I want to move it at. So I'm going to grab from this corner, and I'm going to say Control v We'll bring it on over, and now we have our wall foundations. So you see, everything is lined up with their midpoint, all the sizes we need, everything is on correct layers, everything's grouped together that needs to be grouped together so we can hide and, you know, just hide things that need to be hidden, and we can get better visibility when creating our model here. So I'm pretty excited about where we're at right now. So what I'd like to do at this point is we'll go ahead and jump into our next part of this modeling phase and we'll start working with some of our structural elements. So now that we have our foundations in place, I want to go ahead and get our base plates created and we'll also get our columns. So I'll meet you in the next lesson where we'll start getting our base plates in place.